Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Army Fire tutorial. And today I want to talk about how to transfer um, UVs to point level and what the benefits are from doing something like this. All right, so we have a grid and we're going to do a UV project. And then on our UV project, we're going to initialize it so that the, you know, the UVs are point on point with the grid. And then we're going to drop down a UV quick shape. And on our UV quick shape, we're going to use our mandrel. Okay. So now I am going to turn this into points. You can see that I've turned this into points and I no longer have my UVs. Like, I don't see the UVs. Like, I, I see UV on point level, but, you know, I don't see my mandrel anymore. Um, so I wouldn't be able to render this and see the mandrel in points, right? I could do something like, uh, Can attribute transfer maybe? No, I don't think that works. So what is the solution for that? Um, the solution would be first we do this, and then we want to we want to save these UVs on point level. So we do an attribute map. We'll connect this here. Then this attribute map, if we put our manual texture to it. You can see that the attribute map actually saves with a middle mouse the the points, the color onto the points. So the UVs are being saved as a um, not necessarily the UVs, but the texture that we applied is being saved onto the points. So that means that like it's not that we're just projecting this onto the points, it's that this point is now that color. So like, if we were to distort this image, the color is going to distort itself over there. So we're going to, it's going to look very cool. Um, if I were to sketch this out, because I want to be clear that you guys understand what I'm saying. The cool thing about um, saying that the attribute from map is grabbing the color from the UV project is that this color, for example, this particle, if we dissolve it, is gonna be here, this like moving with a particle noise or something, but it's gonna conserve that color. So it's not like we're projecting this image and then particles are moving, but the image isn't moving. So for example, if we do a pop net, connect this here, We'll do all points and top force. We want to do Okay, I just want them to emit on the first. So as you can see, that's this is what I was telling you guys. The the color um, is stored in the particle, so when you dissolve it, you get some really cool cool results. Um, all right, guys, that's it for this tip, and um, I hope you guys like it, and I'll be back with more.